All right, I'm gonna wash this load of clothes and then I'm gonna dry them with the wind tunnel fan dryer. Okay, I got it all set up here. That's a pretty full load of laundry hanging up there. This will take two to three hours. The fan will be like 80 or 100 watts. And I'm gonna run it on the solar power here. So let me go ahead and show you here real quick. Okay, let's get this thing on. So that's the basic setup right there. I got the fan hooked up to my small solar system. It's pulling about 100 watts. But as you can see, the idea is you just blow it down in a closed um, wind tunnel, or hallway in this case. Find like a narrow part of your house and it'll just swirl around the clothes and dry them. Okay, the fan's been running for about three hours on the clothes now. I just went ahead and checked them a couple minutes ago, and they're totally dry, so it's working well. You can't quite see it, but the hall curves around to the right, goes into a small room, and I have the window back there open. So all the humid air, moist and humid air, is just getting uh, drawn out the window. There's a really cool breeze blowing in here. So it's working great. This would be especially good to use in the summer because this would really cool off like a room. It's like an evaporative cooler right through the clothes. Pulling 100 watts, 100 watt hours, that's 300 watt hours versus 3,000 or 4,000 if you go with the electric dryer. So it's a good option, save you 90%, 100% if you're using the solar like me. But if you just plug this into the wall, it's still going to save you a ton of uh, money on electricity. So a good option for drying clothes.